Back here at home, an update tonight on the Ninawaya football player who was shot last week. The 17 year old still in the hospital. His uncle charged in the shooting. Our Quentin Smith talks with coaches and players about how they're coping. When the Ninawaya Warriors hit the practice field this morning, to the naked eye, everything appeared to be normal, but it wasn't. That's because they were without their sophomore linebacker, D. Welch. I know he'd do anything he could to be down here with us right now. The teenager was shot multiple times and is now hospitalized, fighting for his life. They're heavy hearted, obviously, as we all are, but uh, we're just praying that D gets healed quickly and, and he'll get back to us. The alleged gunman is the team's uncle, 38 year old Frederick Nunn. The Kemper County Sheriff's Department says the two had a feud prior to the gunshots, and at this time, investigators aren't sure what that feud was about. We were shocked, I mean, heartbroken uh, that something like this could happen to. A kid that's so young and, and undeserving. I was sad. I was upset. I, I was camping. I couldn't even enjoy it. I was so sad. It's one of my best friends. <sighs> Coaches and teammates describe Welch as a spark plug, someone who was always full of energy. He'd always make you laugh, even whenever it sucks. It's 90 degrees, you're hot as can be. He don't get tired. He just running around, has so much energy. He never had bad days, he always worked hard, and he was never down. He played really hard, played the way you want kids to play, and, and he did it with a smile on his face. The team ended practice by taking a knee, putting their arms around one another, and praying for a successful recovery for Welch. The football team prides itself on being a family. The family is now leaning on one another to stay strong for themselves and their brother. Dee's a good kid, and uh, God's not done with him yet. He's got a plan for Dee's life, obviously, since he spared him through such tragedy. So we're just ready to see him, put our arms around him, and welcome him back. That was our Quentin Smith reporting. Now, at this time, it's unknown when Welch will be released from the hospital. None has been charged with aggravated assault. He's currently behind bars on a $75,000 bond. All right, we're going to send